So after my first week with Stadia, how do I feel about the unit? Well, let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So as y'all all know, I received my Founders Edition launch week, okay? And I've been digging through this thing um, ever since I received it, and I've been checking out the whole Stadia platform altogether. Now, during this time, I've been very vocal. I've been vocal on Twitter. I've dropped a couple of Stadia videos um, because there's been a lot that has been said about this platform, and I didn't think that, well, I knew <laughs> that what was being said um, at mass didn't fully reflect or, or correctly reflect what this platform was all about, right? So let's do that. I wanna do that right now and tell you about my experience, uncut, raw, as it is, you know what I'm saying? The first week that I've gotten this platform since launch. So let's get to the lowdown of the product and the services. Now let's go on to the analysis. So in order to, to, to break this all down, let, let's talk three things. First, I wanna let you know why I've been vocal. I wanna tell you the good, and then I wanna tell you the bad uh, about this whole product and service. So now on to the prescription. All right, so this is why I've been vocal. Now, I get it, there's people upset about the Stadia launch, uh, and, and some of it is justified due to how it was explained, and I'll get into that in a little bit. However, you just have those that possess this extreme cloud phobia <laughs> for some reason. I, I, I can't get it. I, I understand where it's coming from, but it doesn't make any sense, but that's here nor there. And then you have these Phil Spencer-loving Xbox zealots who, I find it funny that they first praised Stadia as it was Project Stream, right? then hated it once it was announced as a product to appease Phil, but now they're hitting rinse and repeat with Amazon's announcement of their gaming service, right? They're nothing but frauds. <laughs> so I just, you know, I laugh at them because they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. A lot of them are praising Project X Cloud and they don't even have access to it because they don't have Android devices. But, but that, again, that's here nor there either. However, the most troubling group are those that had time with the product, rated Stadia under the most scrutinizing and worst conditions, however, place Project X Cloud on some pedestal as a more feasible alternative. And I'm here to tell you, even though Xbox has been uh, my my console of choice the, the majority of this generation, me coming on YouTube, I really did a big push to try to promote the product, hoping it would do better. I gotta put my own personal biases aside and tell you that that is the farthest thing from the truth. And I'm gonna tell you why it's false. First and foremost, Stata is a fully functional, high performance product, okay? That works well under all its supported platforms as long as you're within its stated conditions. Now, I think that they said that the maximum or minimum, the minimum is like 20 up, but if you really want stable performance, they recommend 200 up and 200 down right now at, the, at this point in time during its phase, all right, during the rollout. Now, xCloud, through my experience, and with me talking to many people behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Technical people, all types of testers, you know, people play testing this like myself. xCloud loads on supported devices, like they say, it loads there. How, and, and, and it, it can be loaded on Wi-Fi, you know what I'm saying, on the quote unquote supported devices, but it only has feasible real world game performance on high end Android devices. I am now in my third Android device that I'm trying to port this thing to in order to get it to work in a stable condition. Meanwhile, you have its competitors, its peers rather, like Shadow and Nvidia that are also have, uh, Nvidia is still fully in beta and Shadow, I'm only using its beta platform to where they perform on the same set of devices perfectly. xCloud is horrible on them, right? So, with that said, his performance is all over the place, and such performance should not be a standard bearer of cloud gaming in this current state. And again, I don't want to hear the beta thing because, again, its peers are in beta, you know? And I, I get it. A lot of people like free, and they like plentiful. 
but it's like my grandmama used to tell me, okay? Sometimes you get what you pay for, baby, all right? And with the unstable, the inconsistent nature of Project X Cloud right now, it shouldn't even be a discussion of what's better. Okay, they're on two totally different tracks. One is launched, one is out to the masses to work well, one, another one is in a controlled beta state, okay? So just like, and, and only so many people have access to it. So let's stop that, okay? It's, it's, just a, it's just a silly discussion, right? But now that all that has been said, here's what's good with Stadia. It has great performance on all platforms that it supports. The browser, oh my goodness. I mean, you guys seen my video about what I did on the browser. You know, the performance was great and I was, displaying that while my network was acting funny. For some reason, my network was messed up and I said, you know what, let me do real world examples. So I went and I did a stream on Twitch. I'll leave the link to it below. Um, and it still worked with my my network like acting up, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Chromecast play is excellent, it's great. You know what I'm saying? That's where you get the best fidelity right now from the Chromecast. Um, However, <laughs> I picked up a Pixel 3a during a Black Friday sale. I just booted it up the night prior to this recording. Oh my God. The play on phone, it's unreal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's unreal. The performance, the fidelity is unreal. Once I get a good enough video that shows you exactly what, the, what it looks like visually, I'm going to put one out there. So just stay tuned for that. Also, the ease of use, I love it. I mean, it's just literally every platform you go on, it's literally a maximum of three clicks. You open it up, you click the game, and you press start, and that's it, you're in the game. Those load times and all that other silly stuff, waiting for stuff to, to, to update, you, you don't get that with this platform. And really, I'm gonna be honest with you. That is my biggest infinity, uh, even though I have some issues with it that I'll get into as soon. But that's my biggest affinity towards this platform is just the ease of play. I'm upstairs, boom, one, two, three, I'm in the game. I go downstairs, boom, one, two, three, I'm in the game. And it works, um, and, and the third thing, which is the portability, it, it, it just works with numerous devices, you know what I'm saying, as far as controllers are concerned. Um, and I don't need costly hardware around the house in order to play this again. I can play it on a browser, boom, one, two, three, play it downstairs in the living room, you know what I'm saying, with the Chromecast, and or play it on my phone, you know what I'm saying, as long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Boom, one, two, three, it's so easy to, to get into. Now, with that being said, here's the bad, okay? Here's the bad. It's not all ro peaches and roses, okay? The lineup is bad, okay? Th there's no doubts about it, the lineup is bad. It's very limited. Um, too many of the older games are costly right now, and I don't see a feasible schedule on forthcoming highly acclaimed titles that, you know, have already released or new releases for games like Cyberpunk. Like, I need to know, is Cyberpunk 2077 releasing at launch on Stadia as well? You know what I'm saying? So that information isn't out right now, and, and, and that's not good. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, it's feature drive. Now, even though I love the portability of it, um... Yeah, you can barely share stuff. Like, you know, in order for me to do my stream, I had to do it on a browser. Browser looks great. Browser looks good. You know, there was me and some other people like Paris Lilly that showed it looks fantastic, but it looks even better on Chromecast. But I can't show that to you guys because they have like a, a blocker on, on capture cards. You know what I'm saying? And again, it might they might lift that come 2020, but it, it, it's a shame that you really can't showcase the marvel that this thing is. Um, also, the product placement was awful. You know what I'm saying? First, and, and that's the biggest thing. That's where they, they really expose themselves. This thing should have been advertised as early access. I know I've said it as a beta, and other people said it, that it was an alpha, but no, really what it should have been launched at is, is early access, because early access kind of like, you don't get all the features at launch. However, you do get some type of performance um, and, and you and you got to pay for that um, that product, but it's going to. You, but you do that knowing that there is a lot of improvements um, coming in the forefront, right? And this is how I would have phrased it if I was at Stadia. I would have said, "In lieu of the 2020 lineup, we wanted to ensure that Stadia is running at tip-top shape." So therefore, in 2019, we want to give customers a chance to help in that process, as well as showcase that experience early. 
Therefore, we created the Premier and Founders program. Just by purchasing a Stadia controller, controller and a Chromecast, you'll get to enjoy and play Stadia um, and play the platform with a number of great titles. Um, we, we'll also throw in three. We'll, we'll also th throw in three, uh, two free titles. We're gonna throw in free two, uh, two free titles, which are Destiny 2: The Complete Edition, which um, that's exclusively free to Stadia and uh, Samurai Showdown, right? And we're gonna throw in three months of Stadia Pro for you and for a friend, okay? So we'll keep you informed as titles and pri prices are updated, but know that during this early access period, you will still get state of the art play over the cloud and pre premier performance. This will only be a gateway to the full set of features coming 2020, which will include game share, you know, better 4K resolution and all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? And let, I would've just finished it off with but get in now to be in front of the cutting edge tech with special perks. You know what I'm saying? Get your gamer tag first and, and some other stuff. You know what I mean? That's how I would have phrased it. But in but in order to drive that home, what they also needed to do was to say, was to state the fact that Destiny 2, for all intents and purposes, unless I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, correct me, that Destiny 2 is only free for founders and premier owners. So if you didn't get this thing at launch, if you're waiting till 2020, I don't think Destiny 2, the complete edition is gonna come free. You know what I'm saying? That was the game that was free in November. Maybe it'll be free in December, too, but they needed to hammer that out to, to, to get people to jump on this. Because I think people are under the impression that when they start in 2020, they're gonna get Destiny free then too, and that's not the case. Also, I would include it beefier discounts and gifts for founders and premier owners. I get that there's pro discounts and they've applied those pro discounts, but I would have applied an additional 5%, maybe 10%, um, at least through the year 2020 for those founders, right? And that is to drive people during this period because let me be honest with you. The reason why they did this is they want to get as much analytical data as they can get leading into 2020 uh, prior to the next generation of consoles coming out. And in order for them to do that, you have to have everything in, you ha in your hand. You have to have the ability to play on the browser, which you already have if you have a computer. You gotta have a Chromecast, and so then they, they're offering that to you with the joystick. You gotta have the joystick, because you gotta remember the joystick is its own device because it connects to Wi-Fi separately, and you gotta have a phone. So we get that you gotta make outside purchases in order to do this, but what they did is they gave you Stadia Pro for free for three months for you and a buddy. That makes sense to me that you gotta have all this stuff in hand in order for them to get all that feedback in order for them to update uh, the servers in lieu of the 2020 release uh, of, of consoles next generation. Um, they didn't phrase it that way. They tried to make it seem like that it was a full fledged launch and just some things just ain't here yet. And in order to successfully do what they wanted to really do, um, they should have added additional perks talked about destiny 2 and what it means and how to get it free you know what i'm saying be a little bit more transparent with that and then like what ea access what ea did with ea access they sent people gifts after a year well send people gifts up front send them an additional gift up front for being a founder you know what i'm saying um but that's my experience with the platform with that said i'm enjoying it i'm loving it still got a lot to do but i just want to let you guys know if you're into serious gaming Stadia is the best thing out there that I'm seeing right now. And I'll have more stuff like that and more to come as I'm playing more and more with, with the platform. But, you know, in the Project X Cloud could get better. There's, I'm gonna talk about all this when I do my review of cloud gaming um, in, 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 the, in the next days and weeks, right? But with that said, I just wanna talk about my experience with it during the first week. Everybody enjoy your gaming day. Catch me out in the links below. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.